0 to 124 in 8 point something seconds, 650 PS and 30 plus mile per gallon. But this car knocks the socks clean off pretty much all of its rivals. But then again, speed has never been the McLaren's problem. It's the C word, character, which the 12C was uh, famously accused of lacking. So, we're here to get under the skin of the new 650S. We're familiar, of course, with McLaren's racing cars at Goodwood. Through Revival and the Festival of Speed, you'll have seen the 12C and the P1, but nobody at Goodwood has seen one of these yet. Not 10 minutes ago, we turned up here in Spain for launch the 650S. First impressions, it's stunning. It looks so much better in the flesh than we thought it would. We've had to sit inside, prod and a poke. Very familiar with the 12C, and I suppose that's the question. Is it just a 12C with a facelift, or is there more to it? So the question was, is it just a 12C with a P1 style nose job? Only now on the A397, somewhere north of Benavis, do I realise what a stupid and redundant question that is. Because what this car is, is phenomenal. This is possibly the fastest point-to-point -point car I think I've ever driven. In fact, it is. It's astonishing. Very, very flattering. Very, very fast. You need to get to quite a speed before you realise that, oh yeah, the laws of physics do actually apply to it. It's up to a point there's just no sign of anything to slow this car down the way it accelerates. Then you get to a corner. Brakes. Utterly fade free, beyond reproach. Turning. Sharp. You corner like a man who's just been told he's going to live forever. And if, if you really, really want to push on, the front will just begin to give you the faintest idea that it's thinking about losing grip. You just get that faint sort of nibbly sensation. But by the time, by the time that started to happen, You'd be going so fast that if they caught you, they'd lock you under the prison. Boy, is this a machine. Inevitably, on a single lane road, you're going to come across traffic, as we have done now. Well, that's okay. You turn things down the notch. And you appreciate the quality of ride. I still can't believe with the, with the 12C people called it anodyne. Anodyne, I mean, really? You drive a car like this and anodyne is the word that springs to mind? I don't think so. I could come up with about two million adjectives before the word anodyne even came close. They've engineered this car so well, but they haven't engineered it to the point they've taken the fun out of it. It's an absolute riot. I cannot imagine anything I would rather be in on this road right now. You can have fun in this car <laughs> like nothing I've driven. Seriously, nothing. Boy, is this a machine. We now find ourselves in pit lane with, uh, with Ewan Hankey, who's done a, a heck of a lot of uh, development mileage here in the 650S, and he's going to uh, talk us through it. So, Ewan. Because we've got the hydraulic suspension system here, the world is kind of our oyster. They've got the new P1 dampers, um, or technology taken from the P1, that they've installed as new hardware uh, on this car. So basically, they now have a much wider range uh, between chassis softness and chassis stiffness. The main difference is what you're going to feel is a big difference between normal and sport, whereas in the 12C there wasn't that, um, that real you know, daylight change between normal and sport. There was a big change between normal and track, but not so much between normal and sport. Um, the brake pedal is also something you're going to feel. Obviously, the 650S we're on standard ceramic brakes here, um, and generally the characteristic of a, of a ceramic brake is they're quite grabby, they're either on or they're off. Um, however, the, the guys at McLaren, especially Chris Goodwin, 
they spend a lot of time in developing brake boost and, and the feel of feeding the brake in. So you can really trail brake a lot with the ceramic brake, which is quite rare for a ceramic brake. Gas, gas, gas. So forgiving and so bloody fast and such a lovely power delivery and such feedback. I'm pretty stunned. It's pretty awesome. It's as close to beyond reproach as I think I've experienced in a supercar. If going fast is your thing, efficiently, cleanly as you possibly can within your abilities, this is a weapon. So we've come all the way to Spain to the Ascari circuit to find out if the 650S is really 12C and the P1 knows John. It isn't, not even close in all honesty. It has far more performance than the 12C does, which is saying something because the 12C is a mightily impressive piece of kit. Uh, I have to say, I, I've, I expected a lot of this car. It's delivered everything, uh, but what I didn't quite expect was to really to bond with it uh, and engage with the thing. It is a mighty, mighty machine.